Are you thinking about moving to Knoxville, specifically the Farragut area? If the answer is yes, let's go around. Let's check out Farragut. Disclaimer. Listen, Farragut's huge, just like all of Knoxville. And so I did my best to show you some of the highlights of Farragut, but obviously I couldn't include everything. So just keep that in mind. And of course, if you have questions, I wanna hear from you. All right, so we are turning into Turkey Creek. Turkey Creek is like the hallmark shopping of West Knoxville, especially of Farragut. So please stay tuned. It is about two and a half miles long and you have everything from Walmart to Target to Ulta to um, World Market to Publix, to JCPenney's, I mean literally Belk, Marshalls, everything. So we are coming into Turkey Creek. Um, we are coming from the Lovell Road side. You can see that there's like apartments going in over there. To the left is a Tanova hospital the walmart is straight ahead uh so yeah i mean this is uh as i'm recording this this is november we're a week essentially from thanksgiving and so i will say this is probably more traffic than normal but i also don't want to set the false expectation like there's literally always traffic here so over here you can see some restaurants you see an earth fair um, I mean, just all kinds of everything, everything from literally Olive Garden to like, you know, one-off non-chain restaurants. Like there's a seasons in here. It's really good. Um, so yeah. All right. So this is Farragut High School parking lot. It is at four o'clock in the afternoon and school gets off at 3.30 and you can still see like there's still some lines of uh, traffic but and there's a couple buses that just left but you can tell the parking lot is mostly cleared out. Um, I came down at about 3.40 and it was still like pretty backed up crazy but by four o'clock lots of the traffic is gone. Um, the elementary, I mean the um, middle school is right over there and so definitely some traffic but nothing too crazy. All right, so we are pulling out of Farragut High School right now. Um, it is a Monday afternoon, and I just want to show you uh, kind of what's interesting about Farragut High in comparison to some of the other high schools. This is the only high school that is kind of literally right in the middle of, like, uh, shopping and whatnot. So we're going to go this way. There's the softball field. Um... But if we take this, if we were to turn uh, right here, that puts us directly onto Kingston Pike. But we're gonna go, I wanna also just show you uh, the middle school is over here as well. So this is exiting Farragut High School. Like I said, the um, middle school is on the other side. And it's also intermediate. So this is intermediate, middle, and then Farragut is on the other side. So the actual high school. Okay, so here is literally uh, what you drive out of and into when you go in and out of the Farragut Intermediate Middle School and High School, which I just think is so interesting because it's literally right in the middle of a shopping mall. Like out of nowhere is the shopping mall. So it's kind of interesting characteristic about Farragut itself. Like no one else really has that. So I think it's interesting. Perfect example of why my husband says he hates West Knoxville. He says he hates the traffic. I want to know your true opinion on West Knoxville. Um, okay, the first thing that comes to mind is traffic. <laughs> okay. So I'm sitting on the road that comes into the uh, middle and high school. It's 414. School let out at 330. I left about four and we're still like in traffic. So this is a perfect example of why like my husband doesn't want to come out here because he said the traffic's horrible, which comparatively for a city. So like the light turned green and now we are stopping again, but it's just like bad traffic engineering because there's only one right turn. And so the people turning right 
are turning on the Kingston Pike, which is like the major thing here. I'm gonna turn around and show you. So everyone's trying to go that way. There's only one lane that's going on the Kingston Pike. And we have two lanes turning, one lane goes straight. If we go straight this way, we're gonna hit Chodo Concord. If we turn left here, that would take us towards like Cedar Bluff. And if we turn right, this takes us into Deep Farragut. All right, so we are at like the far end of Farragut as it relates to like what I, in my mind, consider civilization. <laughs> Which is not actually too, because Farragut goes quite a ways past where we are right now. But right now where we are is we are at um, 35 North and Summer Moon. It's a really cool coffee shop. But I just want to point out, we're at the corner of Kingston Pike and Campbell Station. So this is a huge, like, intersection. Campbell Station is, again, one, it's not the last exit, but it's one of the last exits where you can get off to farragut if you go kind of any more west it just feels like no man's land so to me in my mind this is kind of the last place where you see actual like civilization so this right here this intersection this is kingston pike and campbell station you have 35 north here which 35 north is a really cool bar and food truck they have food truck park it's like a food truck park so it's kind of swanky and then summer moon is coffee and then actually across the street there is a Starbucks, so at the same intersection, there's also a yoga place, hot yoga. And then over there is uh, the Village Green Center, which that includes Fresh Market, a grocery store. So this is, to me is like the last exit, like I said, or last, kind of the end of Farragut proper, in my opinion. Now there's still a Coles down there, down the way, but for the most part, to me, this is where I consider like, if you get much further, you're far away, which we're already kind of far west, but that's Camel Station and Kings of Pike. Okay, so this is 4.45 on a Monday afternoon. We are going eastbound into town. And you can tell, like, this is typical traffic um, at this time of day in West Knox going towards town. And actually westbound, so that pretty much that's pretty flowing because if you were at Cedar Bluff right now, it would be kind of probably backed back to back or west hills exit but those people are kind of through the traffic going westbound but eastbound not so much so to my right that is all turkey creek so it is along the interstate and then if you look way far up to the left you can see some poles past there and that is top golf and so that is technically still or that is technically in farragut even though it's on the north side of i-40 so as we're going along, everything that is to my right is Turkey Creek. So all kinds of shops, etc. So from Camel Station essentially to Level Road is Turkey Creek. There's Top Golf to the left. It sits directly opposite Turkey Creek, which is everything you see behind these trees over here. So now you can get a better idea of Turkey Creek. Uh, you can see how it's like a walking mall. There's randomly a CarMax in there, which I think is so weird. There's also Target, Walmart, restaurants, Ulta. Um, is there a Home Goods? There's a Hobby Lobby in there. Um, not a Home Goods, but there's a bunch of other just stuff. And there's a random hotel down here too. You can see that between Campbell Station and Level Road going west, now these cars are backed up. So a second ago, they were already past that. And now we are actually loosening up a little bit. But as we continue to go east towards downtown, we are gonna see uh, more traffic going this way. So this is driving from basically Kingston Pike and Farragut proper towards Concord and the Chodo area. So this is Campbell Station, Concord Road intersection. So houses along here, these are not so much new construction. These are, there's some old, there's some newer stuff. You've got some 1990s builds. Up here, if we were to turn right, and then you have like random new construction. Do you see that? So random. Um, if we were to turn right here, which is where we're going, this is um, water frontage. So not all of these are waterfront properties, but they are possible. You can see like the neighborhood across the street. If you're gonna get um, low threes, it's gonna be somewhere like that, those are about 1990s builds. And then along here, we have this is Turkey Creek Road. Now, sometimes it rains and the, the water
water is like super up. It's winter time, so it's not very high right now, but and we're not like experiencing tons and tons of rain, but you can see over there that like sometimes some of these docks are almost like totally underwater. Stone, popular neighborhood. Park over here. This is Concord, or sorry, Anchor Park. No very good parks to the left. So we are in a very good neighborhood, it's called Sheffield, and I'm actually in the newer construction part um, called the the Enclave at Sheffield. And so a couple things I want to show you. Number one, so this is an example of new construction. This is by Healy Homes, Healy Home Design Team, and it's listed at $7.89. It's a four bed, three bath house, two stories, two car garage. I also want to point out for you like this specific neighborhood and something that you're going to see through Farragut neighborhoods that you don't necessarily see elsewhere are sidewalks. And another thing I want to point out is this little walkway here. So Farragut, quite a few of the neighborhoods have like a walkway system, which I think is pretty cool. You don't really see that anywhere else either in Knoxville. So that's something that's definitely characteristic of Farragut. So you can see like all of these houses here are new. And then Sheffield itself is just one street over. That's just typical Sheffield. Those are also like early 2000s and newer built. And you're going to be looking in the 600s 650s and higher like this one the one i just showed you that's about 789 so that is typical farragut sidewalks walkway systems newer homes and we're actually about 10 minutes from farragut proper farragut high school so yeah a little bit of farragut neighborhood look across the water you can see that's montgomery cove the back side there on the left and then like most of these houses here on this side that we're seeing. All right, so we are coming into one of Farragut's most popular parks. It's called McPhee. There's the sign, you can see McPhee Park. And it has a ton of stuff. Soccer park, soccer, basketball, pretty much anything you want. Um, so yeah, let's check it out. Playground. Okay, so we are at McPhee Park, which is one of Farragut's largest parks, and it has all kinds of stuff to do. Pavilions, soccer fields, pickleball courts. Like you can see over there, pickleball. You can see a basketball court. There's a soccer field behind me. Like I said, there's pavilions, there's walkways. Um, and I also just want to point out for you that if you can see over my left shoulder back there, that's the prize farm subdivision. So that's like a lot of like single level ranchers, a lot of 55 and older uh, uh, like that neighborhood. So if that's something you're, you're interested in, I would look at that prize farm. And then you can also see some newer construction houses, but I also want to point out that you can see lots of roofs. So that is pretty characteristic of like the West side of Farragut because people are trying to stay within Knox County, um, but also be newer construction, newer homes. So you tend to have smaller yards out this way as well as newer homes, but you're going to be more on top of each other. So, but this is McPhee Park, super cool park in Farragut, definitely awesome place to play. So we are coming up towards Chodo, the Chodo area, which is not technically Farragut. It is 37922. It's like the back end um, of like the Concord, but I associate this with Farragut because it is so far out there. Um, and if we, I wanna show you, you're about to see what I mean when I say new construction because it's literally all you can see. So if you look forward here, you can see the lighting for this is horrible, but all of these houses like right on top of each other here. So 
So this is like the far end of Farragut as we know it. If we go about another half a mile further down, we would be at the Loudoun County line. So when you see new construction, this is similar to also Hardin Valley new construction. The houses are nice, um, but if you are wanting like a bigger yard, something like that, this is probably not for you. But when I think new construction Farragut, this is kind of like what I think of. Um, these are zone Farragut schools and you're about 15 minutes to like probably Farragut High School, Kingston Pike area. Um, so yeah, this is a typical new construction, very similar to what you would see in Hardin Valley new construction. This is Shady Glen. So this is typical new construction neighborhood in Farragut. Notice that there is not a sidewalk in a specific neighborhood. Um, just want to point that out. Houses here uh, in 600s and higher. So like there's one up here on the left coming up and it's a four bed, three bath, this one right here. And it's listed at 630, 624, nine actually. Um, so you can expect to be in the 600s in this area of Farragut for um, a newer home uh, or in this type of neighborhood. Okay, so we are at Chodo. Um, notice there's Chota Fire Station, but this is a small little, I don't want to say shopping center, but there's restaurants here, there's a Mexican restaurant, there's pizza, there's like a wine bar and a wing place over there, there's a Weigel's. So this is kind of the place to go for Chodo. A lot of this is new, new, new. If you look back here, that is all brand new construction and that's what you're gonna see in the Chodo area is newer homes, smaller yards for the most part. I mean, there is some water frontage, literally like three minutes from here, Montgomery Cove, um, Mallard Bay. So there are some waterfront options that are a little bit more established, but overall, you're gonna see primarily new construction. And this is not technically Farragut, like these houses have a Knoxville address with a 37922 zip. Farragut zip is 37934 but this is still Farragut the kids here the kids in these neighborhoods they go to Farragut that's what they're zoned for so um, it's not technical Farragut but it's just south of Farragut but to me in my mind as a native Knoxville this is 100% Farragut it's just the Chodo area off North Shore okay so another park in the Farragut area is called Concord Park which is where we are right now and they're actually you can see them over here they're putting up lights so in the Christmas in, in the Christmas time in Christmas time this is an awesome light show like at night you you can't tell right now but they have awesome lights this park has there's a three a par three golf course just down the road there's basketball courts there's also the a yacht club which has a bunch of sailboats which they're not yachts which i think is kind of interesting but i also want to show you that concord park also has some water frontage so i'm on this like walking path now it's super nice really cool place to hang out and you can see the lights they're setting them up so it's exciting because it's holiday season so at concord park you could actually come you can go fishing um waterfront picnics i mean it's a really nice park i prefer it to mcphee park but also mcphee is like you have to or not you don't have to but you're there for like a sport this is more like fun outdoors although you have kind of similar stuff here over here is like a little beach area. See that right right behind me? So, and you can also see the yacht club. You can see the boats right behind me as well. So yeah, this is Concord Park. It's super nice. It has like a similar vibe to, we have another park called Lakeshore, but that's over like in the Bearden area. So this is like a swim beach. You can come here to Concord Park. And in the winter, you come here for the Christmas light show. It is so awesome. Some more of Concord Park is across the street. I'm gonna drive so you can see it. So those are baseball fields, tennis courts. Um, you see this? Those are baseball fields. Here's the Yacht Club, Concord Yacht Club. So this is all Concord Park to my left. And then if we go up the road a little bit, then that is where we hit the marina the par three golf course. Okay, so we are in the Village Green neighborhood. This is like old school Farragut. So it's true Farragut, it's just off Campbell Station. And these are like um, 1970s builds, 1980s builds, homes. They are characteristic like large yards and you have like two story traditional. You have some 
like split foyers, but primarily basement ranchers, two-story traditional, and some ranch homes. So this is a cool neighborhood because number one, I'm walking on a sidewalk and the sidewalks aren't everywhere, but it's pretty like characteristic. And you have this like double entry. So we're walking towards the entrance of Village Green towards Campbell Station. And so this is just definitely like the old school Farragut vibe. So you can tell like, obviously the houses are older. So let's go walk around Village Green and see what we can find. So you can see like there's a split foyer. That's one that's been totally renovated. And then others like have not been touched. So definitely lots of stuff coming or lots of opportunity, I will say. See here, like there's no uh, sidewalks and you can see there's like a diversity of homes here from traditional two stories to like that one's been totally, the facade has been updated to new construction so just really nice properties here and mostly like larger yards which is cool and then this is to the back end you can actually walk from village green to um this is the back end so this will take you to like oh what's it called fresh market look at all right so we are still village green and I wanna show you an example of a house for sale. So right to my left is a house that is currently listed for sale for $5.89, uh, I believe. Okay, so Village Green, a house that is like updated, is gonna be in the five, five eighties. Um, and then you could get a house in here for cheaper, but it's probably going to need a lot of work. So I would think, you know, if you're thinking about you want a neighborhood to invest in and you could find a house in here for 300,000, that would probably be a complete gut job. And you might be able to sell it up to six, depending on square footage. There's a current active right now. It's at 589. Really cute house. It's obviously older, but it has had some updates. So that is Village Green. Okay, so we are at one of my favorite places in Farragut. Well, favorite, like, how can I explain this? I like a lot of Farragut, but this is one of my favorite places to eat. It's called Water into Wine. It's right back there. So I also brought you here because this shopping center is characteristic of what you find in Farragut. So like at the corner is a mellow mushroom. There's a Walgreens right behind me, but then there's also like a water into wine, which is a one-off place, Blue Ridge Yoga. So you have a great mix of chain stuff as well as one-off small businesses. And so that is pretty much characteristic of what you find in Farragut. So I say all that because you have a good mix. So that is why, for example, you have all this traffic that my husband hates, but I mean, there's stuff to do here, which is different than like Seymour or South Knoxville is not, it's, it's a completely different vibe, if that makes sense. So this this shopping center at the corner of, it's like corner of Parkside and Campbell Station, you can put in your map, Mellow Mushroom Knoxville, or you could put in water into wine. Um, and you can kind of see the area that I'm talking about, but this is true Farragut. And again, just want to point out that there's plenty of stuff for you to do, plenty of places for you to go. And that's what makes, that's why I think people really love Farragut in general. So this is Fox Den. This is a golf front community. And um, you have a mix of all kinds of houses in Fox Den. Some are right on the golf course, some are two story, some are ranchers, um, lots of ranches. You can notice that you have oversized yards here. Um, and I mean, this is another kind of classic Farragut neighborhood when it comes to like, if you think about Farragut, you probably think about Fox Den, especially if you are like a native Knoxville person. But you can see like these are older homes some have been like that one has never been updated whereas others like people have majorly put um you know quite a bit of money to update them i always think this one is like, super interesting that's like the shingle house cedar cedar she, single cedar shingle siding try to say that three times all right so fox den 
this is i'm sorry the sun is like in the way but this is an example of a house here so all the homes here are super unique and this is actually a 5600 square foot basement rancher which you would never know listed for 875 so you have a crazy mix of all kinds of houses in foxton all right so this is entering into turkey creek from campbell station Over there we have a Publix so you should there's like a Publix over there there is a fir first watch there is a beauty bar I think there is uh, orange theory over there as well uh, and then you have like a Longhorn Steakhouse but across the way over here are these shops a lot of these are like small business geared so Turkey Creek is a mix of small business and chain I think primarily chain when I think about Turkey Creek like there's a JC Penny. So it's basically like an outdoor mall. And all that stuff over there is like one off stuff. You also have some like meta spa type stuff on places. So, I mean, just a mix of all kinds of shopping. If you need home accessories, there's this place we're about to pass on the left. It's called At Home. And I'm telling you, they have literally all price points of all kinds of home goods that you could ever dream of. It's um, pretty awesome. But. You could spend hours there, so I just want to warn you. So all kinds of stuff here you can see through Turkey Creek. Two and a half miles exactly, not exactly, but roughly of shopping. You can see top golf, the, the fence over there far in the distance. I don't know if you're picking it up in the camera, but um, yeah, all kinds of stuff here. This is what I'm talking about traffic. This whole road is cut off like during this kind of season, which I think is, actually, I think it's always shut off now. So we are in my favorite part of Turkey Creek because this is the place where I can kind of park and go like shop everywhere. So back there is an Ulta, you've got a World Market, you've got Loft, this J Crew, just this J Crew factory outlet over there that's actually new. There's also like Panera, Bonefish. So you're seeing that for the most part, like I said, Turkey Creek is a diverse place of shopping. Um, you're obviously going to be walking outside, so if it's raining or whatever, this probably, you know, isn't necessarily the ideal place to come. And I also want to point out, if you watch my uh, Farragut map video, I showed you this on the map, but this is my main beef with Turkey Creek. Whoever engineered the traffic originally, it was a fail, okay? I'm not a traffic engineer. I don't know how to do that. I couldn't have done a better job, so I just want to acknowledge that. But this entire road right here that you see is almost always closed. And that's because it wasn't like well engineered to kind of hold or have or sustain the amount of traffic that it does have, which I guess is a good thing. It means like people come here and they shop, which is great. Um, but um, it's my biggest beef about Turkey Creek because sometimes you get stuck in here and it's like, why did I come here? Also, it's November. Thanksgiving is this week. And so if you're if you're thinking like, when do people start decorating? November 1, basically. So anyways, this probably wasn't of November 1st, but it's about to be Thanksgiving. So in the context of this video, um, it is Christmas and people are starting to celebrate. So yeah, Turkey Creek. Some of my favorite boutiques are also in this area. So if you're looking at Turkey Creek, you're like, where should I shop? I think Knoxville doesn't have great shopping then this is actually where I come because there are a bunch of shops like down by that belt where there's like a fabric. Um, there's a place called Tavi. There is a Bliss. There is uh, just like all kinds of options or multiple options I could say. Then this is probably the best place that I come if I'm like, okay, I gotta find something. I come here because I know I have multiple places. I can just walk across the street, bounce back and forth and find something. So Turkey Creek, there it is. And this is just only a small teeny portion of it pretty cool i also mentioned this in my map tour but there is a greenway system in Fairgate, and so we're on the back of turkey creek right now and you can see that this is one example of one of the greenways that you can find and so this one you can see like okay so we are here obviously and all this is turkey creek and you can actually park kind of along and you go towards the back of the shopping center and you're going to be able to connect into the greenway which is pretty cool so this would this goes actually all the way from i've actually run this before where did we park we parked at level road we came all the way down to camel station and came back so pretty cool right 
Hello and welcome to the Costco parking lot. So right behind me is Costco. And I brought you here because it's in Farragut. It's the only Costco that we have in Knoxville. And right now it's booming and it's always booming. Look, someone lost their pizza. Do you see that? Oops, oops. Um, okay, also I wanna show you Kingston Pike. So this intersection here that I'm at, and I actually noticed I'm actually walking on one of the Farragut, Green, Farragut Greenway. So I just want to point that out again, that they are not pervasive. <laughs> that's the wrong word, but they do exist. So this is Kingston Pike behind me. That is Kingston Pike Level Road. And then just across the street, that's Honey Bee Coffee. And that is a really popular um, Knoxville, local Knoxville coffee place. There's also one in South Knox on Sevier Avenue. And this one actually has a brewery. This is the original Honey Bee. And it's one of like the cool coffee shops. We also have K Brew, which I don't think there's actually a K Brew in Farragut. But I also want to show you just behind the Sonic is a Gold's Gym. So in Farragut, gym wise, you have boutique gems like Orange Theory. You, there's like a core change. There's the Gold's Gym, YMCA. So just a bunch of options. And so this intersection is obviously pretty popular. Obviously, the Costco behind me. And then again, the Honey Bee. It's a really cool place to hang out, drink coffee. Uh, yeah. So this is like a place to be in Farragut. Uh, this is like where everything's happening. Um, but I will also show you like right now, it's about five o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon and you can see like traffic for sure, for real, like it is a thing. Um, so yeah. This is historic Concord, literally historic. Like the sign says historic district right there. Um, so, most of the original like houses no longer exist here um but you can see like it's right on the railroad so this was a big hot spot back in the day for shipping marble and getting stuff here so you can see that like check out that house gorgeous and just over also note that you have the water so back in the day this was like a major thoroughfare for shipping stuff. And over there across the, the way is Concord Marina. But this is like historic Concord. It's super cute. So check it out. Let's look at this. Uh, obviously super old building. This is Concord. If you're a history person, this is definitely a place that you want to check out. It's pretty cool. This is like the closest thing I feel like we have to a tiny little town in Knoxville, in a sense. So we are at a portion of Concord Park. I showed you, um, there's Concord Park about a mile down the road. And then this is where we are. We're at the Concord Marina now. Behind me is Lakeside Tavern. So it is a waterfront, mostly restaurant, but you can see like this marina. So this is boat storage for Farragut. There's also Chodo Marina, which is out by Chodo that we saw earlier. And um, also in this park, in this part of Concord, you have a par three golf course. You have, it actually used to be a pool. They pulled it in or no, they have a par three golf course. They do have that. Across the street from this is a public boat launch. And on this side of the street is also a, um, dog park which actually used to be a swimming pool that i swam in as a kid and i thought it was like the coolest place ever of all time but now it's a dog park so i also want to show you that this uh railroad is significant because this is actually where they used to transport marble through and also notice that we're on the water so this is a major thoroughfare historic concord is literally right over there literally across the way so it's kind of cool definitely definitely some history here and um yeah concord park pretty cool place so this is more concord park and as i've mentioned um there is a dog park so that is just right behind us the dog park there there's um this is tennis and then there's a public boat launch and then about a mile down the street is where we saw the christmas lights so this is all concord concord park area and that's the par 3 golf course right behind me so lots of stuff to do uh pretty cool there's also like walkways through here so that's kind of cool too What did you think? 
Is Farragut the place for you? Please let me know in the comments or feel free to text or call. would love to discuss if this is a bright fit for you in the Knoxville area. And until next time, I'll see you on the next video.